Hi guys, welcome to Autotop NL and today I am here with the DRS Motorsport M3 E92 as you can see. Uh, for me this is one of the cars here at the ring which is a little famous because there is this car then there's a yellow one and a green car which are seen often at the ring as a trio uh, and I have the privilege today to drive this epic epic machine. This car is built by DRS Motorsports over in Switzerland and as you can see Alpina Carrosseria is the party that actually paints the car which does an incredible job and this car is basically a full on a Schirmer GT spec track tool or ring tool basically so as you can see already it's on the BBS's we have the GT4 splitter in the front we have the carbon hood with the louvers um, yeah what else is there the GT4 wing of course and the cutouts on the rear bumper for you know for the air for the drag to minimize the drag on this car as you can see DRS Motorsports the setup on this car is well pretty special because it is full Schirmer spec so it has the Schirmer kinematics that means that it has all the Schirmer control arms and bushings it has the BBS E88 wheels which look oh, probably one of my most favorite wheels in the world glorious with the magnesium center and as you can see here the big AP Racing Pro 5000s on the front and this is actually uh, a Porsche color if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure what the color is called again uh, but it is a Porsche color. What else is here? Well, oh, actually, uh, well, I'll show you here on the interior of this car. So you can see the Schirmer race cage in here. Also, the interior fully painted in the same color. We have the pole positions, we have the plastic door cards, and then we really have the really, really, really sick aim. The Schirmer race foot plates, also, you can see. The carbon roof here on this car, I don't know if they're... It's actually painted, which is really cool in my opinion. Yeah, everything about it. The KMP steering wheel with the magnetic shifters. And I can show you really quick. And we also have, of course, the killer aim display, which I can show you. And it will... Look, there we go. DRS Motorsports with all the data right there. Really, really, really cool. Also, we have an RM1 in this car for, for lap purposes, so you can measure the lap, but overall, phew, incredible build. The carbon plates there. We also have in the back, actually. Let me take this out. As you can see, all the carbon covers also in the rear. The nitrogen shock absorbers, the reservoirs, as you can see right there. But overall, just an incredible build with a lot of attention to detail. And the engine on this thing is actually stock. So uh, nothing crazy here. We have, of course, the arrow catches. And then there is that glorious S65 from BMW, as you can see also the nitrons in here. Actually stock airbox, so nothing special, but just a super clean example. As you can see, the car is fully painted. So even the strut towers, everything, this car went back to the bare chassis to be made into what it is currently. And I'm gonna take you guys around the track in this epic, epic machine and see what it's capable of. I think this is going to be one of those laps for the history books for me personally because this is going to be an experience guys. So come along with me and see what this car is capable of. So guys we're about to go out on track in the DRS workshop or DRS Motorsports E92. Um, I am here with the owner. Yeah there we go. I am here with the owner Nico, as you can see. Um, this is the first lap I'm doing because we're a bit tight on time. So I'm going to feel the car a little, see what it's like. This is not going to be a super hot lap, but uh, that might change because I might be doing two laps. Depends a bit here on the time that we have left. But like I said, E92 M3, fully prepped by DRS, which are over in Switzerland. They fully built this car and it's painted by Alpina. 
uh, Alpina actually around the ring here has three E92s which are serious machines so let's see what it does very serious on the ship and I can really feel that with this setup there's a bit of toe out so the car is quite heavy on turning <laughs> oh, what a machine this is! Really, really good on the brakes. I don't think I'll end up using second gear here. I have to say this E92 platform has really grown on me in the past few years but especially in a configuration like this where you have all that grip available this car sits on the Diretza semi-slicks which are in my opinion some of the best tires you can buy here it's sitting points Gonna let this guy pass here. Pass 392. Oh. My God. You can feel the rear twitch a little under braking because it is a bit twitchy. Nico already warned me for this, but it's holding up pretty well. set up and what a machine I'm gonna be again a bit quiet here because this is this is up there boys this is some of the craziest cars I have ever driven but oh the grip and also under braking the balance is Good. The engine stings of course with a 9000 RPM, which is oh. it doesn't it doesn't stop. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. on the rotation it is incredible. Also have to keep the speed in the car because it has so much grip that it it scrubs up quite a bit uh, when you don't go through with enough you know with enough flow. But, oh. Again, traffic's always be careful. Oh. This is. This is next level. This is really next level. And also you can actually feel the aerodynamics work on this car because as I described you have the splitter and the spoiler on this car. And they really do their work. You have traffic to be careful.
god, this car is... really nicely push in the throttle because it doesn't have that much power like it's not you're not running like six seven hundred horsepower no you're what is it or something oh. <laughs> what a machine the grip is is endless so I'm not gonna get overconfident here because I'm gonna be the big quiet here. I'm gonna let you enjoy these 9,000 RPMs. And just enjoy the rest of this lap, please. I'm gonna take it easy from here. Oh, oh, that's the car. The car is incredible. It is so neutral. I have to say, it's a bit, uh, you know. Under braking, it, it moves around a bit, and it's a bit, you know, it's a little bit unsettled under hard braking. Yeah. But, oh, what a setup, and the front end balance on this thing is incredible. Incredible. I have to make big thanks to Nico here from DRS Motorsport. Go check these guys out. Thank you for lending me the car, but what an opportunity. What an incredible lap, and... Yeah, hopefully we, again guys, maybe we can top this, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and see you at the next Ring Review.